This is an exciting one. I have returned to Rome Park where they build electric motorbikes and today we build it. So it's early on a Saturday morning and we've been planning this for months. The motorbike has been purchased and the plan today is very, very simple. I've got a bunch of engineering students from where I work coming to join me and they're going to build the motorbike that, um, well, I will do the ultimate ride on at the end of this, uh, this year. And so I wanted to just go through the whole process of how we built it. Uh, I really like the look of this one here. Uh, but the bike I'm getting is similar to this one here. But we've got a, a number of months to modify and improve. And um, yeah, it's going to be a really exciting day. The kids are going to look round the engineering facility here. So I'm just waiting for the bus to arrive. Um, we've got, I think, 12 engineering students uh, from where I work. And uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. amazing panoramic views of Nairobi and the park. Let's go and have a look. Rome Park was opened by the president in 2023 and they have this incredible passion of creating electric transport, particularly focusing on the motorcycle section. And having a group of young engineering students coming to have a look around this resource and see how they have tried to tackle an issue within Nairobi of creating sustainable transport was a fantastic opportunity for each and every one of these guys. And of course, once we've looked around the factory, we had the opportunity to actually build the motorcycle that I was to take home and then prepare for this big ride across Kenya. So this bike behind me is the one that I'm going to be riding across Kenya on. I'm very excited about it. We're going to do a whole load of modifications on it when we uh, get it back to where I live. Uh, so these guys are kind of just doing the first stages. Looks like they're putting in the electric motor and then it'll go on to have the chain installed which is on the next part of the line we'll have a look at that in a minute the production line had a number of stations ranging from the initial fit through to putting electronics onto the bike then electrical testing and then putting on the bits and pieces that make it look like a motorbike and each of the guys had the opportunity to work a station for a day and actually learn the job of course at the very end is quality control and that's one thing I've been really impressed with Alan is the guy that has arranged all of this yeah uh, thank you so much first thing that we are trying to showcase is uh local production. Mm. This bike is built in Kenya, yeah. built for Kenyans, built by Kenyans. Yeah. So it's the first thing that, uh, um, it's a question that most people have been asking, right. whether this bike is made here. Because mm -hmm. you see people are used to seeing bikes made in China, made yeah. in Japan, but yeah. this is interesting. So what, what, what are these guys doing at the moment? So right now they're fitting the motor yeah. to the mainframe. Ah, okay. Yes. And what's what's the, the, the power or torque of the motor? Ours is uh, 5 kilowatts because uh, one of the cool features about our bike mm. is uh, the, it's our charger. Mm. It's, the, it's a portable one and then you can also use it at home so you yeah. don't have to worry about having to like uh, go to a charging station yeah. to charge it or anything. You can just charge it at the comfort of your house. Boys, tell me what's going on here. What are you, what are you building? So actually we're learning how to tighten the bolts around um, suspension in the steering area. Okay. Finger toe. This is the speedometer. This is lighthouse. We are in Rome for lighthouse. Oh, it's moving in, it's moving in. It's we're attaching the seat right now. We've attached the side panels and the storage compartment and everything yeah. in the seat. 
<laughs> okay. So that seat's not going anywhere. This is a big moment. This is the moment that she comes to life. So she's coming off the frame. Okay. And then she's going to be plugged in. We're going to see what happens. There we go. Be careful. Be careful. You know. Help, help him, boys. That's it. There we go. All right. So here she is. Here he goes. Ready, ready, ready. There he goes. Bang! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! There's light! She's alive! This is control. Mode one. Yeah! She's alive! So um, we've stressed out Martin and Monica because um, these guys are like a well-oiled machine. 32 minutes a section and um, how long have they been? An hour. <laughs> okay, there's a little bit more work on there. Ro Rome has been good to us. They're delaying their production just so those guys over there can um, take an hour. <laughs> so they're blaming me for holding the whole production line up. Oh my goodness. I thought I taught them better than that. Martin over there is happy now because, because the production line is moving on. <laughs> it comes forward. Okay, here it is. Into the quality control. Into the final station. Here we go, boys. This is very exciting. Don't drop it. Uh, uh, oh, this is what you can do in one day. Uh, here it goes forward. Come on, round of applause, boys. Yeah, ex excellent. Yeah. All of this beautiful electrical juice going in now. Will it fit? Yeah. Uh, oh, he hasn't been to the gym enough this week. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's going in, it's going in. Oh, okay, fits. Locking. Yeah, does it lock? Does it lock? the lock works? Look at that. Beautiful. All right, okay, the power socket going in. Oh, you have to put the power socket in first. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. No explosion. Did it click? It clicked. All right, all right. Okay, so now, who turns the key? Okay, they all got to get their oh. hands in it. It's on, it's on, boys! Yes, round of applause! Yeah! All right, now this is the moment Mr. QC is on, this is him, okay? So we've got to let him do his job now, so let's just stand back. There he is. Oh. Headlights work. So you chose orange for me, boys. Yeah. We have an indicator. What? Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Oh, no. Oh, no. The other indicator works. Huh? Oh, no. Okay. So, okay. What, what, what did they do wrong? They collected their cables and they opened it inside. Okay, the hazards work. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, the, this is, as engineers, you have to take responsibility for your work, okay? Out of 10, how did they do? 9.5. 9 .5. Yeah. <laughs> so the Turi students and the Rome engineers have finished the bike. I can't thank Rome enough. I think we need to give a big cheer! <laughs> However, the biggest test is to come. Will it ride? Sam's not old enough, okay? So it only means that I get the first ride. So the motorbike has been built. I cannot thank Rome, Monica, Martin, Alan enough for all of their work in arranging this. I also want to thank St Andrew's School as well for bringing their students up to help build the bike. If you click on the links in front of you, you can see their YouTube channels and you can see some of their thoughts on how the motorbike build went. Also up and coming, a review of the bike and of course preparations for that big trip across Kenya. All things to look forward to so please rate and subscribe, do all of the things that online people do, and I'll see you in the next video.